Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's video where I will show you how you can bring your slides to life with these animated illustrations. I'll show you where you can find these illustrations, how to import them into PowerPoint and how to animate them. So let's get started. That's good. Alright, so in this tutorial I'll show you how you can create these three slides with animated illustrations. And here at the bottom I have already inserted a couple of blank slides. And now all that's left to do is to find illustrations that would like to use. And if you would like to create your own illustration from scratch, you can watch this video that I have done in the past. But today let's use some pre-made illustrations by Starry Set. These are absolutely free, awesome illustrations that we can use. And what's awesome is that these illustrations work perfectly with PowerPoint. So let's start with this one. Meditation illustration and let's make sure that we choose SVG. And now we can select this illustration, click, drag and drop into PowerPoint. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's resize it and place it anywhere that we want. And if for some reason you cannot insert SVG illustration directly into PowerPoint, you can open up this illustration inside of Inkscape, the free vector program, and then save this file as EMF. Just go to File, Save As, and choose EMF. And then you should be able to import this illustration into PowerPoint. But if you have PowerPoint 2019 or Microsoft 365, you should have no troubles importing these illustrations directly. Ok, so now let's select the illustration and let's convert it to shape so that we can access all of the individual parts and as you can see some of the elements lose their color. As you can see these leaves become white, so don't worry. All this means is that we have to go to fill transparency options and adjust the transparency of the fill. And that's fixed, but let's leave it the way it is just to save some time. Alright, now let's ungroup this illustration and see if we have all of the elements that we need. So here is the person, that's good. Ok, and here is the shadow, that's awesome. Ok, so let's uh, jump to my previous slide that I have already done and let's check the animation once again. So as you can see the person is flowing up and down, that's good. And at the same time, the shadow is shrinking and then it's coming back. So let me show you how we can achieve these animation effects. So let's select the person first. Let's go to Animations, Motion Path and let's choose Line. For the line direction, let's choose Up. OK. OK, let me zoom in a little bit. Now let's grab this red bubble. Let's bring it down a little bit. So basically now we are setting the distance how much this person will float up and float down. So I think this distance is about right. Ok, now let's go into the animation pane. Let's select this animation and let's make sure it starts with previous, which means it starts automatically. Duration 2 seconds and now in the effect options let's make sure that we have smooth start and smooth end of 1 second. Let's click Auto Reverse and for the timing let's choose Repeat until the end of slide. That's awesome. And this way this person will be floating up and down all the time. Let's give it a preview. OK. And now let's animate the shadow. OK, so let's select the shadow. Let's go to Animations and let's look for the Grow Shrink animation. Here it is. Let's make sure it starts with Previous, Duration 2 seconds as well. In the Effect Options, let's set a Smooth Start and Smooth End of 1 second. Let's make sure we click Auto Reverse. And for the size, let's use 60% and let's select Horizontal so that this uh, shrinking and growing happens only on the horizontal axis. Just like that. And for the timing, for the repeat, let's use until the end of slide. OK, and now let's give it a preview. OK. So let's check it out on the full screen. So the person is floating up and down and at the same time the shadow is shrinking and expanding. Looking good. 
All right, so the animation for the first illustration is ready. Now we can continue with the next illustration. So this one is all about studies and learning. We have a table, a person and lots of other objects flying in with some bounce and effect. So let me show you how we can create this animated illustration. Okay, so now once again, let's go to story set and let's find this illustration. By the way, link is in the video description for all of these illustrations that I'm using. And once again, we can select illustration and drag and drop it directly into our slide. Super duper awesome. Okay, so let's convert this illustration to shape. Once again, as you can see, some of the elements lose their transparency. Don't worry. And now let's just ungroup this illustration. And let's check if we have all of these elements that we want as separate groups. So here we have the table. Here we have this uh, symbol pi. As you can see, the shadow of the symbol pi is on a separate group. So let's make sure that we ungroup all of these shadows. And now we can select the letter pi and its shadow. And now let's group these two guys into one group. That's awesome. And let me actually fix the transparency of some of these uh, shapes. So let's just go to fill transparency and let's just use the transparency slider to add some transparency. Okay, that's good. And since we have so many shapes on this illustration, I think it would be a good idea to go to selection pane and rename some of these groups. As you can see, we can collapse these groups one by one, but if you have a bright slide add-in, you can just click one button and collapse all of these groups with one click. Okay, so let's rename this group letter pi. That's good. And now let me speed up a little bit and rename the rest of these shapes so that later on when we will be adding animations, we will know which object is which. Right, so all of the elements are ready. We have the background, we have letter pi, here it is, we have the table, we have the person, here's the globe. Let me actually adjust the transparency of the shadow for the globe. Looks good. And here we have these flying ideas all around the person. Okay, so let's start with animating this light gray background. Let's go to animations. Let's choose fly in for the direction. Let's choose from top left corner. That's good. Let's make sure it starts with previous. Duration uh, 3 seconds. And in the effect options, let's add a bounce end of 2 seconds. That's good. This is how it looks like. Okay, now let's make sure that we send background to back so that we can see the shadow. That's good. And now we can use the animation painter and copy the animation from the background and paste it to the rest of the objects. Just double click the animation painter and you can click any way that you want. So let's apply the table, table shadow, the person, the globe. And for these flying animations, I mean for these flying ideas, we will use a different animation. And now let's just add some delays in the animation pane. So for the letter pi, I'm using 0.2. For the table, table shadow 0.4. For the person, 0.6. And for the globe, 0.8. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, so this is what we have done so far. Looking good. And now all that's left to do is to animate these ideas. Okay, so let's select all of them and now let's add a fade animation. Let's make sure that it starts after previous. For the duration, let's add two seconds. Okay, and now let's add one more animation to these flying ideas. Let's choose grow shrink animation. Okay, let's make sure it starts with previous. And now in the effect options, we can adjust the size of the growth. So Let's use something subtle, for example, 110%. Let's click Auto Reverse. And for the timing, let's set the repetition to until the end of slide. All right, and now we can check out our second animated illustration on the full screen. So all of the elements fly in with some bounce and effect. And now we get these pulsing flying ideas. That's awesome. 
All right, and now let's continue with the last illustration, business growth. Looks like this, we have some elements coming from the sides and we have this chart in the middle, wiping from the right side. Looking beautiful. Okay, so once again, let's just drag and drop illustration into PowerPoint. Okay, let's convert it to shape and let's ungroup it. Now let's make sure that we have everything that we need. We have a man, we have a woman, we have these plants. And as you can see, we have to separate this chart from the rest of the shapes. So let's ungroup everything one more time. Let's uh, select the green shape. We can actually add some transparency. Okay, so let's select the black line. Let's make sure it's selected. Hold down the shift key, select the green fill. And now let's group them into one group just like that. Okay, and now we can group the rest of the objects into one background. So let's just select everything, hold down the shift key, deselect the plant, deselect the man, deselect the woman, deselect the chart, and for the rest of these guys, let's group them into one background and let's send them to back, just like that. So we have the background and the rest of the elements that we need. Super duper awesome. And instead of the 60% text box, you can insert your own text box. I'll just delete everything and leave it empty. Okay, so let's start with animations and let's choose flying animation for this man. Let's choose from bottom left. Starts with previous duration, 3 seconds. Alright, and in the effect options, this time let's use smooth end of 2 seconds. And this is how it looks like looking good and now we can use the animation painter once again to paste the same animation to the rest of the elements and let's just change the flying direction for each of these elements so for the plant and for the background let's use uh, from bottom and for the woman let's choose from right okay let's check it out once again looking good and the last part is to animate this chart so let's select the chart and let's choose wipe animation Direction from left starts after previous, duration 2 seconds, okay. So this is what we have so far, looking good. And I think we could add a pulsing animation to this chart as well. So let's select the chart and let's add a second animation. Let's select grow shrink animation. Let's make sure it starts after previous, duration half a second. Let's go to the effect options. For the size, let's use something subtle, for example, 105%. That's awesome. Let's click Auto Reverse, and for the repeat, let's use until the end of slide. Okay, looking good. All right, and now we can check out the final result on the full screen. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know how you can create animated illustrations and PowerPoint. Thank you, my dear supporters on Patreon and my dear students on Udemy and Skillshare. Stay happy, stay healthy, everyone, and I'll see you on my next video.